<laughs> hello, hello, Dejoodles. How's it hanging? I am here with nobody. I'm exposed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the coffin of uh, Andy, and I'm gonna probably butcher this. Uh, Lele. I'm assuming. I imagine. It's... Yeah. I would imagine that's how that's pronounced. Yeah. I like the art. Oh yeah. Art style I feel like I've definitely seen porn of. I also don't know how long this game is because they actually haven't fully come out with a full version yet. This is only a demo, but I have seen uh, people do really long playthroughs of this, so gotcha. I assume it's good length. See. No. Excuse me. And I'll take it the reason you wanted me in here is to be voice work. Yeah. I mean, I can voice the guy. He can voice the other one. <laughs> so, you as the girl <laughs> in the room wants to voice the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to voice the girl. Yes. I hope you know she's going to sound particularly Russian. Perfect. Also, my I have name. No, oh, oh. My, my name is Elbert. <laughs> also, Bookworm, if you're here, uh, let me know if they added anything new to Tangia. Also, when are you, when are you, are, are you still planning to play uh, the No Players Online game? Yeah, I am. Okay. It's that, uh, I actually did get a game that I am going to stream, uh, thir the day before the subathon, Thursday. Oh, there's just... Oh, I forgot that there was a subathon coming. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, which is a game I know you know, Amanda the Adventurer, and I will be in voice chat. Ad Amanda the Adventurer? You don't know? It got blasted on YouTube. I mean, it sounds vaguely familiar, but oh, yeah. I don't think I've seen that. I also... Although during this, oh. although during the subathon, I had an idea. Yeah. What if, since it is spooky month and you're wanting to focus on horror content, mm -hmm. what if during the subathon, mm -hmm. we did Gartic Phone, but there was a rule that everything has to be Halloween themed. I mean, possibly. You have to draw and tell spooky stories. There's skeletons and pumpkins everywhere. It's just a thought. Yeah, I think about it. I think, I think that'd be really fun to have, like, towards yeah. the end of the subathon. Yeah. Also, uh, for a Thursday, because I'm gonna do a good stream, so I'll be sleeping in for the subathon. Yeah. But um. I also got the other three games of the person who made Kowloon, like, in something, I forgot their name. So that, that really, I know you remember Welcome to Kowloon, like, how detailed that shit was. And I got their rest of their games. Oh, I, I don't remember the game. That's fair. But Like, is that one of those Pokemon ones we did? No, it was the, um, the really realistic area where, uh, this lady trapped me in her apartment. And at the very end of the game where we thought we escaped, she decided to jump scare at the credits. Yeah, I don't remember it. I'd, I'd have to see footage, probably. There. Anyways, let's actually continue the game instead of sitting in the title screen. <laughs> Okay. Why is there a controller function? Okay. There are so Funny. many buttons. This is a visual novel? Yes. It, it was late one as one, but apparently I can move around. Mm, fancy. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm barely coughing now, which is good. Yeah, that's good. 
Though you can definitely still hear that your throat's a bit stuffy. Yeah. Oh, this is me. Lady, I guess. I don't want to. Bill, I do. <laughs> No, I, no, I, I'm doing this. Just go over and say e to you. Yeah. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Oh. Wait, who the hell is Ashley? None of us are named Ashley. <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. Oh wait. Oh Lele is Ashley. Lele is just probably a nickname. Uh Oh yeah, because Ashley has Lay at the end. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's technically Lily because Ashley. Right. <laughs> oh shit. Jesus! I accidentally slammed my head into a plate. <laughs> you s wait. Say that again. I accidentally slammed my head into a plate. Your head? Hand. Hand. Okay, that makes significantly more sense. Yeah, I just slammed my head on the table and hit a plate. Uh, anyway. Uh. As much as I, as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little in interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. <laughs> unpaid bills can very easily be eaten. Inside the cabinet, cabinets is nothing! Coffee machine sits alone, sad, and abandoned. There are only so many times you can brew the same grounds, so no more coffee in this house. This is getting increasingly depressing. <laughs> yes, it is. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times, and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Why oh, is there? Okay. Amazing. You should show that to your brother. Hey, bro. I'ma just just hit some over the head with a can of tomatoes. <laughs> that would be something I would do. I just burst in the room and just toss the can. Of tomatoes. Like 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 that big bird picking down the door meme. Yeah. Oh. You show him the tomato can. Ta da! <laughs> he does not look pleased. <laughs> not the reaction you were looking for. Ah, uh, uh, him. Had. I really like this art style. Yeah, we're not eating that. What do you mean? It's just a can of tomatoes. <laughs> Garbage, but I'm sure it's fine. As long as it's sealed. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Oh, so so wait, your your hang up is is you don't want to eat right now. 
-hmm. Okay. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. God, what is the situation they're in? I don't know. Huh? How did you know it was in? Because I hid it there, away from you. <laughs> okay, Hatchet, you Discord cut you off, but it said it like a, a geese. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so that was actually perfect. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. I live in a den of snakes. Oh. Uh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No. Put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth. I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. It's gonna be a bland ass dish. It's nothing but cooked tomatoes. Oh, the a warden. <gasps> this would be perfect for Albert. Good day. Are you still alive in there? <laughs> Hello? If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living, either. <laughs> I'll think that is a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy's screw up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, wait, come back! The, my, I, why am I having so much troubles doing Cindy? I don't know. He doesn't. God damn it. <laughs> Boil the canned tomatoes to make a delicious boiled canned tomatoes. <laughs> There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You use it all of it in your all of it to spike your water in order to vo avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Wait, oh, what? That's just depressing. Yeah, what the fuck? Well, how is it? At this point, you can feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. It's ass. <laughs> what? No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous uh, audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a pee? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. 
Got the balcony key. It sounds not too dissimilar. It it sounds like it sounds like an a different universe's version of the papers please theme. I was thinking that too. Hmm. Can't really see squat from here. Wait, we should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Oh, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. You've got a table! An ashtray. There's no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. <laughs> okay. Guess you gotta find like a piece of wood or something. Yeah, have something to put across it. How are we going over here? Oh, this is her room. She wasn't even sleeping in her room, she was just sleeping randomly on the floor. Wait, there's a second bed in the other room, though. Maybe a mop? That sounds like one of the stupidest ideas possible. A mop. Not even anything funny to say about it, just a mop. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's fair. Yeah, see, there's two beds in here. Wait, dude, what the fuck is up with the other beds? Maybe it's our abusive parents. And trash pile lies your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. Thanks. Wow. These people really love being depressing. It's just some dirt. There's more there than dirt. <laughs> yeah. Your parents have fucked on this bed. What? <laughs> thanks for thanks for reminding us of how that works, game. Oh crap, are you alright? These goddamn DIY shelves, I swear. Oh kind of wooden plank. Wooden plank. I actually also, oh, sorry. how how is that how is that wooden plank going to be long enough? To reach over to that. Okay. Also, I remember one person who thought a DIY was DUI. <laughs> See, it's fine. I love. I love. I I I love DUI bookshelves. <laughs> yeah. These boxes are full of useless junk. Well, you could make it your useless junk. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh demons from hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. God damn it. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had... <laughs> when I had the chance. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess? Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Wait, are you gonna just like bust down your door if you're watching TV when they don't want you to watch TV? <laughs> this is fuck. Like, how I dare guess. you? What, what is... This is starting to feel like some incredibly bizarre 1984 shit. Yeah. 
Oh, pick, pick, pick up the fucking shelf again. Well, you don't want the murderer to join us? Oh, I no. can't. Oh, it won't well, let shit. me pick it up. So, uh... <laughs> what? What if you could pick it up while he was standing on it? Just fucking <laughs> falls. Well, you're shell luck, bro. You're dead. <laughs> ah, the remote is dead. I did not go to check Twitter randomly. I don't have a problem. Yes, you do. <laughs> Just push the buttons on the TV, yeah. <laughs> what a pain. Dude, listen. Listen. You are, like, you are clearly, like, living off of maybe half a cent a day. This should not be the biggest of deals for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, well, it's you. It is. This is sexism. The freezer is completely empty. That's a fucking freezer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, go go check your parents' room and see if there's a vibrator. I would love my interact with that. If, that was <laughs> if that was actually the answer. I was gonna lose my shit. <laughs> yeah. the, like thus far, this feels like the sort of game that might do that shit. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. That's a more appropriate place to get them from. <laughs> How fucking old are our main characters? I believe they are above 18. Are they? Or 18. Okay. Yeah. They're right around there. I think you can, Lee. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. Uh, okay. <laughs> More. <laughs> oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's done. Oh, the TV's talking. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to watch the tainted that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. Secured? It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a pump. Why would you say- Okay. A pump 53 total. No big. <laughs> yeah, this is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> you in Russia the rush killed you yeah. and the quarantine period of those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks again and to our friends in quarantine thank you for keeping your dis Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So fuck? we've got so so we've so we're on the inside of a a, a fascist thing. Uh right. Yeah. Got it.
got got the whole dehumanizing going on. And yep, to yep, our yep. friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. <gasps> That's why she put the salt in the water. Because it came through tainted water. Um... Well, no, like, it was saying, like, oh, to avoid God. getting overhydrated. I don't know what adding salt to tainted water would do, especially, like, we don't know how it's tainted. Right. <laughs> Sorry. It's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I feel like I should clear... I feel like I should clarify, knowing how the internet is in mm -hmm. present day. I am not saying that this, that that the concept of a quarantine is fascist, but rather that it is very clearly in this instance, quarantining in a manner that is specifically not being done to the best interest of the people within the quarantine as well as those without it. Yeah, because I remember our quarantine, like, they were sending out checks to help people financially. Well, I mean... Yeah, charities to help I, with food. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it's just... I don't know if it's just your state, but the U.S. was honestly doing dog shit about that. But... Oh. Wow. The I... U.S. Yeah, the U.S. itself was being pretty ass. Uh, Maybe it was your employment? Uh, no, because once the quarantine happened, I got booted from the movie theater I was working at. And the go state oh. government, I guess, was paying me like $600 a week till I found a job. Okay, then that's like, I guess that's an extension of unemployment pay. Yeah. Gotcha. Technically, our unemployment pay is only supposed to be like 300 a week. But because of the quarantine, yeah. they upped it by double. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah, the the U.S. in in total really didn't do much. Didn't do anything for like citizens. That. Like my family, yeah, my my family got a single, I think twelve hundred dollar check. If I remember correctly, no, wait, it was wow. it was one check. I, I think it was two. $1,200 checks for my parents and like a $900 check for me as a dependent. Mm -hmm. And that was it. That was literally everything we got. Yeah. In aid. Yeah. Then again, there was also like charities in my state that would give food and yeah. other items people needed that couldn't afford. But yeah, point being in yeah. this case, this is the sort of quarantine like uh similar to how london was quarantined during the spanish flu uh, where it's basically all of the pores get quarantined off into have to deal with them right. being sick anyway yeah I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Who the fuck are you? Oh. oh. Wait. Mom. Where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. <laughs> Am I making the mom sound like that? I don't know. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. What? She didn't drink the tainted, oh. tainted water. Oh my... Oh fucking hell. You stack of shit. Mom? Not booze, not dirty, contaminated water. Nothing. 
The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Bitch. Wait, where did the nurse come from? Okay. Uh, Festus, would you like to voice the nurse? <laughs> Festus. Come on, Festus. You have anything to say? I don't think Festus wants to voice the nurse. Uh... You want to voice the nurse? Sure. Alright, this oh. would hurt a bit. Ow! Oh. What? Festus just poked my nipple. <laughs> that needs to be clipped. Just all of a sudden, you just say Festus just poked my nipple. He dug in with his claws on my chest and poked my nipple. <laughs> Dickhead. The nurse sticks a needle in you. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. What if she just wants to talk with you? Right. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Oh wow. Oh I wanna I want I wanna punch someone. <laughs> Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer upper. So I'm really busy. Besides, it's Andrew there with you. What do you need me to pacify for you? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. I got a message from Bookworm. Festus pokes Hatchet's nipple. Oh god damn it! I <laughs> buck. I <Hi>, buck. <laughs> Festus, say hi to Buck. <laughs> Festus, say hi to Buck. Festus doesn't want to say hi to Buck. I would love to imagine if Bookworm just came in and heard you say that and me say clip it at that moment. <laughs> Best day. Anyway. Anyway, I've got to go. <laughs> Booger says Festus feels embarrassed about the clip. I understand. Ah, oh, man. Should have cons gotten his consent to clip. <laughs> it's not like his voice is coming into it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Oh wow, it's my mother. Oh. <sighs> oh no. Good goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Something tells me the mom knows more than she's letting on. Fair. After a minute saying all night, you wake up as one does. What? What did you just say? 
Reminiscing or uh, fuck. <laughs> Reminiscing. Shut up. Reminiscalizing all of the reminiscing. Shut up. Reminiscing. Whatever. <laughs> Instead of uh, ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Oh, I guess we actually do use the mop now. Acquire mop. Got a mop. Estes, I love you. He left me. I said I love you to Festus, and he just immediately jumped down. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Dickhead. Uh, I love mopping up dirt. Mopping up the dirt! What else is there to take care of? Festus not ready for that. What commitment? He's lived in my house for free for like eight years. <laughs> Lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is inside. Wait, can I take a peek into their stuff? Why are you saying Amber? Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the bills. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> are you just living in his house and kindly paying his bills for him? No. My parents owned this house long before he came along. Yeah. You returned all the books to the shelf. Now what else can you clean? You could get rid of that bed since your parents are assholes. And they fucked on it. You didn't have to bring that up. <laughs> they said it though. Yeah, but you didn't have to bring it up again. Detergent drink, drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Uh, oh, God. oh, no. It needs some more laundry. Detergent. Acquire laundry. There's gotta be some dirty shit in your room. Probably. Picked up laundry. More laundry. <laughs> Did you, you pick up your brother? Yeah. <sighs> you're cleaning. What a waste of energy. Uh, your fake yawn made me actually yawn. <laughs> I actually yawned to do my yawn. Oh, you did actually yawn? Okay. <laughs> You're a waste of energy, idiot. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? <laughs> you, attempt, you 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 were about to drink it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing the detergent. <laughs> Pick up the bleach. You run the laundry. Oh. I don't think she actually drank it. Dot, 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 dot. You're feeling dizzy. There's no way she actually- she didn't actually drink it, right? Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo. Oh, is it something to do with, like, the water? Maybe. Why they're quarantined? Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantined household. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. Bullshit. 
It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartment. Oh, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering... <laughs> the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Yeah. Moving on to our next story. <sighs> A brand new art museum will be. You drift back into unconsciousness. We're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? A shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other side. Oh, on the other end of the line. But you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean... I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to it, but... No, I mean... Or I mean, yes, but that doesn't... I'm n no, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you can still can't make out all the words. Oh. Oh, this is probably the mother. Yeah. Most likely. Always about... You don't lean, Ashley, and had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So, that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Alright, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although... Although, I, I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. A faint beep 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 of a drunk call can be heard. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Who was it? Uh. My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh. Oh. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? <laughs> How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantined. Or because she found someone new that it's been a few months, buddy. Yeah, I Girl, can't why? Agree. Yeah. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Ashley, come on, girl. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. <laughs> Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. So, who is dating in a quarantine? I take it that this girlfriend is from before the quarantine. Yeah. 
Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Not in here. Someone from your apartment apartment is getting hauled into an amp amp. God damn it, Discord. <laughs> Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an amb 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 Hey! Hey! Me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. What the fuck? I need some help too. Please help, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Kind of me surprised. See, I actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they let their sirens blaring for a corpse. That is actually true. Yeah. They they don't turn the sirens on if it's a corpse. E. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Look says, unless they want to manufacture false hope in this dystopia, maybe. True. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. What the fuck? <laughs> There's some people fucking in this quarantine. <laughs> I mean, if, like, if, if two people are, like, 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 two people are, like, partners, and they're in quarantine, that's probably gonna happen more often. What else <laughs> would you do? <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, like, you're not even, like, like, people aren't even allowed to watch television except for, like, a single section of the day. True book. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Reused that condom one too many times. Think they'd bring me food if I could? What girl, the fuck? Girl, girl, I I was getting I was I was having I was having my disgusting <laughs> thoughts already. Girl, don't need that in our nice PG dystopian fanfic. What the fuck? Probably book. Nope. Let me finish. Or maybe she could go fuck the satanic dude. Yeah. How would you even get pregnant in here? Oh yeah, so yeah, that's that's who ta she's talking about. Well, we do have that one charming fellow next door. Over my dead body. He seems like a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That, <laughs> that woman didn't even look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It was just a thought. <laughs> Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're just too exhausted.
but after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She didn't look bursting with energy. <laughs> I'm moving very slow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you silly lazy bones. <laughs> what day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Oh god, I'm on the fuck bed now. I don't have to call it that. <laughs> it's just a bed. And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. But how many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the outside somehow. What else am I supposed to do? Plus there's guys with guns out there. You're gonna get shot. <laughs> I love bullets. They at all. If you don't st <laughs> Wait, what voice did- Oh yeah, I gave him the- Oh, but... If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't out of the way. Says you. The delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. No, you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. What Jesus about my ass? Well, back. I don't know. What do you want me to say there? <laughs> the man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they they really got get that delivery today? Like I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see, you did. That yeah, absolutely nothing was delivered. Ah. <sighs> Talk about something. Wait a minute. I just realized something. What? This scenario is putting into perspective a pair of siblings mm -hmm. who are desperately hungry. Mm -hmm. They're not getting any food from the landlord person. Also, hey, Jerry. Uh huh. But the main menu showed pictures of them with cutlery. Uh huh. These two are gonna fucking eat the satanic neighbor, aren't they? Possibly. I got nothing. Try. Did I enter in a very awkward time? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We're talking about cannibalism. Would, or drink, each other. would I... drinking uh, semen count as cannibalism? Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? No. <laughs> Yay, it's not illegal. <laughs> Can't believe it. Cannibalism, even in and of itself, depending on where you are, isn't illegal. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. He thinks something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. 
but never never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? You asked for conversation, lady. Right. Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. What? <laughs> why Why is there a period there? I don't think there should be a period there. Oh, well. Oh. Jerry, did you did you try to say something? I was going to say something, but decided not to. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure. Like, you just weren't coming through. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad. Bad here. Come again. Aside, aside from the starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. <laughs> No, seriously, let's go. Yay, let's go die together. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? I want an explanation. <laughs> Is the game actually re leaning into... The, the dumb, like, Alabama horn brain, the, the dumb horn brain thoughts I was having earlier. Probably. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is Alabama. There's no food. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Just everyone in the state of Alabama is starving or dead. Yeah. What, what do they have to eat in Alabama? Fucking, fucking dirt? Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. Our remains would get so entangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Sir. What? Okay. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think the bodies would be that badly damaged. They likely wouldn't, no. Yeah, because it's only the fourth floor. Like, I mean, if it was like the 25th floor, then yeah, I would see that, but like, the fourth yeah. floor? <laughs> yeah. Human body's more resilient than that. Hey, there's, I think there's even a possibility you could survive. If you land on your legs, yeah, there's the, the like, there's a non-zero chance of surviving that fall. Yeah. Or especially if you land on something soft. Yeah. But I doubt there's anything soft. But you you land on one top of the guards. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, video game logic, yeah. Just jump down from a balcony and, you know, ma mash onto the back of a guard to take them out. And there's no pain in involved with falling from that height. Yeah. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. No wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Jesus Christ. Girl, you don't have to rip him apart like that. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. 
You know what? I'm gonna take a second. I have I have a browser open because I can actually use Discord and have a browser open more easily. Let me just Roman pick. <laughs> Bookworm. Hello, officer. I like to report a murder. <laughs> Let's see. Adjective conductive to or categorized or characterized by the expression of love. To of characterized by or suggested suggestive of an idealized view of reality noun a person with romantic beliefs or attitudes or a writer or artist with the romantic move with the romantic movement okay. so i guess i guess he would be using uh the second definition of categorized by or suggestive of an idealized view of reality so to him his corpse and his sister's corpse being meshed together is his, is is a view of an idealized reality. Wow. We're gonna move I on. I was muted. And <laughs> he is creepy. 